Parenting is one of the most challenging yet rewarding jobs you will ever encounter in your life. Everyone needs support, nurturance, and empathy as they go through this experience. The University of Pittsburgh Family Foundation's Early Head Start program works together with parents to provide helpful information, ideas, and experiences to support parents in giving their children the very best they can. So one of the beauties of Early Head Start is to um, form wonderful relationships with parents. So when we go into the home, we don't go in to teach, but we go in to partner. And within that partnership, we observe, we listen, we hear, and what we hear are the stories of our families. Um, oftentimes, the stories of our families are very, very difficult because they've suffered some trauma, they've suffered abuse, and they've suffered even in their infant years um, a lot of difficult things. And so it's up to Early Head Start to hear these stories and understand and have empathy so that we can walk in their shoes. Um, so with that being said, once we've heard the story, actually it's kind of a healing to families because oftentimes we find that our families are not being supported a lot even within their own family and we're finding that Early Head Start um, has come in and have become a main support uh, for families because we're willing to listen and observe and hear and understand where they're coming from. The idea of our program when home visitors go into the home um, for the hour and a half with families is really to partner and be in relationship with um, parents and children. It's not to go in and teach or to give advice only. The idea is to understand a relationship, um, hopefully listen and understand stories, and then support and um, nurture relationships between um, parents and children. Um, it's about um, really trying to have the parents feel joy and excitement around their children's development, interactions or experiences. Um, because the belief is that if parents see this or feel this, that they want to come back for more. Lots of times parents don't know how to play. They never had the experience of playing. Um, sometimes uh, they don't know how to be silly. They don't, it's, it's hard for them to be silly. So um, we, we try to come up with some, I try to come up with some songs and activities, experiences they can do together that you know, not too threatening, but gets at the heart of the interaction, of the back and forth, of the... So we, so a lot of it, part of it has some songs in it. Um, there, there's some things in there that my mom did with us, and so I remember some of those songs and not knowing where they came from or anything like that. Um, just, um, things from my childhood that it stuck with me and that, that I remember and then now my mother has been doing it with the grandchildren too so um, but it gets at the heart of the interaction. Um, and we also offer the socializations uh, which are group uh, play groups at uh, six sites and this is also an opportunity to bring families together but also um, based in parent-child interactions and experiences. Um, families come in and explore, um, play together um, based on our schools that we work on in the homes and just really enjoy some time together in a group, a small group of parents. If babies could talk, they would say, what matters most to me is what I learned from birth to three. <laughs>